they are in sixth place with a middling 20 points from 15 games in the ABSA Premiership, and apparently with almost no hope of challenging leaders Mamelodi Sundowns, who are on the verge of running away with a title on 28 points from 13. Pirates' 21 defeat ending the year against Free State Stars at Goble Park on Saturday marked their 10th match with just one victory earned. In the Cups the Buccaneers were not in the MTN 8, and were knocked out on penalties by Poliquaint City in the quarter-finals of the Telcom knockout. Granted, Saradayevic had only a two-week pre-season having been appointed late in early August and he certainly looks the best of the Serbian coaches to have plied his trade in the PSL, apart, perhaps from the professor, he, Vermzovic, Kosta Papik and Vladislav Herik apparently studied under, Veslin Jeljusic, who is currently impressing at Bloemfontein Celtic. He has brought a competitiveness to Pirates that was lacking in the hiatus last season. What he did with Uganda, guiding the Cranes to their first of con in 38 years was remarkable. But the PSL is not Uganda, Ethiopia or Sudan. In this crazy, ultra-tight, ultra-competitive league, one cannot take an early single-goal lead and try to protect it. One cannot come out at home as a big three team against lowly opposition and play the counter-attack, sitting back rather than dominating. One cannot play from half-time, once the opposition has been sussed out, with a team as poor at finishing as Pirates. Which brings one back to the 138 countries. That assertion falls flat at another level that, thanks to Wikipedia and a thing called general knowledge, we know some of the countries Suradayevich has been to. He coached in Ethiopia. That country has produced one notable ace striker, Saladin said, who has famously tormented Bafana Bafana on more than one occasion. One of the next best forwards of the past decade has been Getane Kebid, a flop in the PSL with Bidvis Twits and University of Pretoria, who is now back in Ethiopia. So perhaps be kind and put that one down to a failure to adjust. Siridayevich also coached in Sudan. Bifana beat Sudan by five goals to two home and away in the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers and frankly it looked a contest of men against boys. So, actually, coach, no. We cannot swallow that one. Siridayevich might be better served ironing out the flaws in his team's game plan, rather than pointing to the worn excuse of poor finishing. Or he might sooner than he had planned be seeking out a 139th country to explore.